Welcome folks to Nogla tweets that should have been deleted but weren't. I regret a lot of these. I mainly apologize for one, being bases and being completely unhinged while simultaneously being one of the cringiest people in in the world yeah especially when it comes towards talking to women surprise surprise please admire his beautiful porcelain skin try out the video <laughs> You'll never believe who that conversation is with. You'll never guess it in a million years. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> My turn now. Here we go. Huge Nogla W. I appreciate you guys starting off with the W's because I think there's going to be a lot of L's. I love responding to you guys even on Xbox Live and other mediums. Takes two seconds to make somebody stay. Surprise other YouTubers don't do the same. <laughs> Nogla, get out of here. <laughs> I have a whole series dedicated to responding to messages. Double get out of here. I do voice replies and not videos for monetizing. Get out of here. <laughs> Where's this get out of here? I reply to comments every day. Get out of here. <laughs> I've even sent them pics of my boobers via Snapchat. Get out of here. I never send Snapchats. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Big W. Big W. I feel like I need to get these W's out of the way because it's only going to be L's after this. I prayed for you! Exclamation mark. Host unavailable. I wonder who this is for. Whoever needed prayers the most, I guess. <laughs> and seeing how their Twitter is now deleted, I'm guessing the prayer did not work. Maybe it did work. Maybe, Maybe it did it did. exactly what it was supposed to do. Just hit the reply button there. Oh. Oh. Oh, now we... Oh, it, yeah. Oh, it, it worked. Careful who you pray for, guys. <laughs> Careful who you pray for. Certified Nogla Moments. Next section. Look at this shit. Would you look at it? In multiple gazzos. Oh, is this your African... African <laughs> cat? Is this it? <laughs> is this it? <laughs> is this it? This is it, dude. These are all the screenshots that have to do with the guy that was trying to scam me with a cat. I tried to buy a cat. I had to send him money on Western Union. That's like the first red flag. Look at his email. When I saw this email, I was like, right, right. <laughs> this was the screenshots of when an African guy tried to scam me by selling me an, a fake cat on a sketchy website that I went to to try and get said cat. Ireland, unfortunately, doesn't have great access specifically to the breed ragdoll cats. So he was like, we're moving. That's why we're getting rid of the cat. So we got to get rid of the cat quick because we're moving this Thursday. And I'm like, whoa, really? Oh, shit. All right. Well, send me all the details you need so I can give you all the money and you can send the cat over. And that way I'll get the cat before you move on Thursday. You know, because that's the reason they were giving away that ragdoll cat for only 400 euros. Very cheap. I thought I was getting a steal. Like, this is the email. Look at how sketchy this fucking shit is here. I nearly got scammed, but I saw the email and went, no, I don't think so. Oh, my God. Look at this tweet. Anime, smiley heart. Fuck. Fucking cringe. <laughs> yeah, li yeah, literally. Oh, gosh, that was so weird. No. If you're religious, that's cool. If you're not religious, that's cool. If you're an extremist, that's not cool. It's really that simple. Beast no Glenn 2015. Beast as fuck. Well, I wouldn't say that. Seems unfair to insult someone because they aren't religious. You find you, and once you do, be you. Jenny, what a lovely message. Wow. What a lovely guy. Now I insult people who aren't religious all the time. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. Something ain't right. I fucking remember this. <gasps> I remember this tweet from you. Going through old, like, beginning of YouTube career. I think I did that per, uh, like to let people know this is not my group of friends. DMs on Twitter is funny. Lots of moments of sending messages with no replies back in the day when obviously I wasn't big enough to warrant a response. This gift summarizes it pretty well. Like now some of these people will be replying to me. But back then, no. Sorry, I was too busy playing with Speedy and copying Kevin. Well, at least he's he's self-aware. Yep. He's self-aware. Brian would bring it up at least once a year. So I was like, I might as well bring it up first. <laughs> See, no is an example of when they do reply to your DMs. One of my worst traits is that I hate reading. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I thought you read our tweets. Uh <laughs> Oh, so that sums me up. God, anime, playing with Speedy and copying Kevin, and I'm stupid. That's about it. That's me. Normally, guys, whenever Tyler interacts with you on Twitter, it's 
overwhelmingly positive and saying nice things about you and your career and wishing you the hoping good things for you and your career hop online and play with me you some bitch <laughs> <laughs> watching house then gonna eat shower later I see how it is. I'm not famous enough. Yeah, you are. Get out of here and talk to me when you have 10k. See, that was actually quite... That was a good interaction with Tyler. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, oh, it's 2012. If this was 2014, will we say a different response? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But this was back when I was a bigger YouTuber. And I think there was that... Uh, there was a different dynamic, let's just say. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of a shift. <laughs> there's been a shift since this 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 time and the year. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd get away of saying something like this now. <laughs> Best deal I've ever made. I like how you're doing these in my voices. You owe me a BJ? Deal. Shave first. No dice. Okay, deal. Well, no, Claire. What is this? Hmm. Wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's clarify. Is that him giving me a BJ? Yes, it is because Marcel is asking me to shave. Confirmed Marcel is gay. Plot twist. He was gay with me. <laughs> the little shitheads that dislike my videos the moment I post can eat a dick. <laughs> no, Claire. Eats a dick. <laughs> This is basically me saying I dislike his videos. <laughs> they go up. The joke was worth looking gay. I will say it. The joke was worth it, right? He's <laughs> kind of funny. When does it get bad? I suspect soon. Oh, boy. Oh, Fucking Skype, Skype screenshots. Skype, Skype, Oh, this is when I put HD in my YouTube title. <laughs> I uploaded a video and I put HD in the title. I think I did it because I was really happy. I got better internet and a better computer and I could render a better quality. So I decided to put HD because I was so proud. For a little man in, in the back arse of nowhere in Ireland, it's a big deal. I had a 0 .03 upload, bro. I started YouTube with a 0 .03 upload. I would upload it overnight. It would get plugged out. It would get plugged out by my mom or my dad or my brothers because they're trying to do something with the internet and I'm using it all with my upload. So I would literally have make a video, spend 24 hours on it, make a video, get it up, and I would wake up excited to read all the comments because I make it go public straight away. There was no scheduling back then. I'd be excited to wake up, reply, and see comments and like and everything and then boom upload failed who plugged out the internet last night oh that was me yeah i was trying to watch netflix i wouldn't fucking buffer so i plugged that out and it fixed it <laughs> i'm like thanks video didn't go live thank you doesn't fucking matter there's no fucking color they had color tv in the 70s dahi oh huh? no one cares if it's in hd lol oh huh? man this hd video sure looks great the black and white colors are super vibrant oh huh? <laughs> Tyler removed David from this conversation. And then Moo, seven minutes later, added me back in. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Brock. No, he's not ready to be here yet. Tyler removed him. <laughs> Brock added me back. And then he's just laughing his ass off. And then Mexicutioner, actually pun intended, a great use of his name in there, Mexicutioner. He was a to be fair, remove David from this conversation. Something happened between 2012 and 2013. <laughs> Something happened. So, Louis Caliber only adds girls on Snapchat. <laughs> and then he replies. Is that why I have you added, Dahi Denogla? <laughs> yes, I'm the schmexiest biatch there is. <laughs> Ah, this is so straight, dude. Well, I was a different fucking beast back then, bro. I was built different for sure. <laughs> a rare gem. Ooh. Louis and Nogla sing to Meow Michelle. Oh, this is gonna be cringe as shit. Oh, I'm gonna hate this one. Brian's already smiling. Fuck. <sighs> Keep going. I don't want to. This is so painful, bro. Keep going. This is something to work on. <clears throat> All right, we're, 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 we're serenading Michelle. Serenading um, Zock Zocks. <laughs> Zock Zocks. Okay. Boy, Ready. can she hear us? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
Doing weird. Socks, socks. I can't do it. <laughs> this is why I should have the mouse. Socks, socks. Flashing white. Different pair. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm standing on nice. And do you know the place I will be alright? Mm -hmm. Your turn, Louis. This is so hard to listen to, bro. Meow, Michelle. Meow, Michelle. Meow, Michelle. You make me go, meow, Michelle. Meow, Michelle. Hell, you make me meow and purr, purr, but not like a. B I really like your voice. You make me laugh. I have no choice. Oh, Michelle, meow, Michelle. Uh, Louis went. Louis went right with this one. Just go goofy, eye, You know what I mean. Louis went the right way on this. Meow, Michelle. Oh, dude, can I shut the fuck up? Why did Equinox upload this? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, no, bring it to a close. Bring it to a close. Do you know? It's lovely. <laughs> Alright, you guys, go ahead and um, click the link below. Um, support us on iTunes. <sighs> I remember Chris Cross. I think he was in uh, Good Griefing. That was the most painful fucking minute of my life. That might be the <laughs> toughest watch ever on the React channel, Brian. I'm gonna be honest. All right, this is I link 407 a video, and he replies with this. <laughs> I linked Scotty this. <laughs> Honestly, this is very much needed. This is we're gonna enjoy this a little longer than we probably should. Ah, oh, cute. 12 million views, by the way, on YouTube. 14 years ago. Oh, very nice. You see how Brian sat up? Look at Brian. <laughs> sat up for the dog. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, Scotty didn't like that, apparently. Dead to me. <laughs> he's a cat guy. That is a fact. I don't think he's any dogs ever. He definitely has had cats. That's what happens when you send a cute dog to a cat guy. At basically how to work well. Oh boy. <laughs> Put that in the group chat right now. I'm not. That's amazing. I'm not. Oh, but give it I to will me. give it to you. I'm putting it in the group chat. Send it to me right now. Oh boy. Story time with Marcel. Once upon a time, there were four people having fun. And then Nogla showed up. The end. Let's just say I'm pretty popular. <laughs> Let's just say I'm loved. I'm adored. People that love me the most are clearly Marcel and Tyler. <laughs> they love me the most. All right, now we're on to the foreshadowing section. As if there wasn't enough. Hmm. Mm. Still stands. Oh boy. Oh Still stands. boy, man. No W. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Day six. Having no GTA 5 means I have been an outcast from the group. They long they long they they longer care. <laughs> my brain hurts. They longer care for my opinion anymore. Oh. And you know how long a GTA day lasts? No clue, sorry, G Google. I didn't ask you, bitch. <laughs> Marcel, that's not nice. Dude, what the fuck did I do to Marcel? <laughs> what in the hell? The people who liked me the most in the beginning don't like me that much anymore. And the people who didn't like me now like me. He, yeah. <laughs> in college, in college, my best friends on the first You told month, me this story, actually, didn't you? Yeah. They all hated me. Yeah, and then they got to know you. It was like, you're just fucking awesome. And I was like, yeah, I think I just try too hard to make people like me in normal settings because I'm on the internet. Same. Guys, I can't think of a good title for my Gmod video. I think Gmod gone wrong, gone <laughs> sexy prank, Venice Beach <laughs> fan. Then Marcel, you forgot girlfriend. Nice interaction. Let's go, Marcel. He must have got laid that day. Must yeah, have been having a good I day. Think so. That's the next video. Gmod girlfriend, pregnant prank fail, gone <laughs> wrong, challenge gone <laughs> wrong with 
fucked in the bathroom. Bedroom, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this was a trend. This was just making fun yeah. of like a mega degenerate trend. Like Vitaly when he first came along. Sam Pepper was involved in this kind yeah. of like stuff. And it just got clicks because who wouldn't click on a title like this? <laughs> I would. And by the way, my dog has a Twitter. You should go follow him. <laughs> I linked. Bro. I linked my brother. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. Did you give this account originally? Like, was there a, a dog account and then you gave it to Andrew to use? No. I just straight up tweeted, oh, by the way, my dog is a Twitter. You should go follow him, Andrew Stanogla. And then he goes, I'm a dog? I know we're pretty symbiotic, but come on. You're half brother, <laughs> half dog. <laughs> and now he works for me. <laughs> Imagine Andrew watching this right now. Just... My custom controller company called Custom Controllers, Dahi Denogla, a quote for the ages. Dude, you remember these scammers, bro? Custom yeah. controllers. There were yeah. so many custom controller companies and they were straight scammers, man. Mm -hmm. They take controllers, do some shitty skins on it and then jack up the price. Bad paint jobs oh, on them. That terrible would fade. paint jobs. Terrible paint jobs. Well, these were the first kind of sponsorships any of us got in the yeah. group. So we were like, wow, we're getting paid how much? I was also jelly because i never got one when they messaged me about doing one that was when shit was beginning to hit the fan i wasn't one of the early ones oh uh, yeah and you were struggling remember you got robbed you got robbed as well brian your iphone the algeria phone calls right around this time yeah. as well just a really bitter bitter horny man <laughs> just, <laughs> that's who you are in 2013 those poor brazilians there was so much angry brian going around you, you you didn't follow me? Don't cry. Crying is a show of weakness. We are men, my good son. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good interaction, actually. This is a solid interaction. <laughs> uh, my brother again. Someone got their jaw broke. The other person looks even worse. <laughs> This is after our brother got jaw surgery and I took a picture of him and posted it. What happened? His jaw just wasn't aligned. So they did a surgery to line up his jaw. But he's grand now. He's grand. He's grand. Ah. But this was a shitty time, man. Look at him. <laughs> well, Andro, keep up the good work on the React channel. It wouldn't be half as good without this fella right here. I'll tell you what, this channel would be <laughs> shit without this guy. That is the man who keeps this channel going. Guarantee you that. I'm very lucky to be alive today. Worst night out ever. Was so close to being killed. No exaggeration. Was mugged. No iPhone or wallet. That's why I don't go outside. <laughs> I'm fine, David. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Literally talk about how I almost died. <laughs> and not even a man is so I'm glad you're okay, whatever. That's why I don't go outside. <laughs> Fine, David. That's probably my first David. It is. This began all the Davids of every David that was said since then. I reply, you're welcome. And you're Irish. A couple of Stavins wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> 2014, man. Fuck, bro. I remember that night so well. Oh, my God. oh Friend man. nearly dies. <laughs> Well, don't go outside. <laughs> I was working in Super Value, okay, where I made sandwiches. Fuck you, Super Value. Like uh, chicken filler rolls, the likes of that. Worked in the deli. Had two friends ish. Two friends ish. Well, I had a few friends there, but two guys in particular that wanted to go out on a night out. And so I tagged along. Didn't really know them as super well. Okay, um, so I was kind of getting to know them. We only had a bit of money. We weren't like, you know, rolling in it. Super Value was not paying huge bucks at the time. But we just had enough to get this like bot big bottle of vodka. But we couldn't afford like the Red Bulls and Chasers or whatever. So we drank straight vodka. So uh, you can assume how that night went. Um, got a bit blurry. Then towards the end of the night, I just, yeah, I is a bit muddled. The next thing I know, I'm waking up to a nurse in St. James's Hospital in Dublin slowly pulling a catheter out of my pee pee you know what a catheter is yeah goes up your dick and she was gorgeous it was a very confusing moment <laughs> i was like oh oh ah, oh oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like very confusing moment reason why they had the catheter was the doctor came in and told me do you know how close you were to dying and I was like, no, doctor. The catheter had to go up and we had to pump your bladder out of all the alcohol. You had so much vodka in you that you almost, you know, died to alcohol poisoning. We had to pump your stomach from one end and pump your bladder from the other. Something like that. And 
He was like, you were found on the street, knocked out cold. An ambulance was driving by, saw you just flat on the ground, picked you up, put you in the ambulance, brought you back here. We had to pump your stomach. Conveniently just drove by and said, we picked that fellow up. What they think happened was I was stumbling home alone because I was so poor, I couldn't afford a taxi. So I had a tendency to walk from the city to like Sandyford. I would walk that quite often drunk because I couldn't afford a taxi. No way home, no Ubers, no nothing like that back then. And so I had to walk home and obviously I was so drunk, some Algerian fucker. I'm assuming his gender. I'm assuming or his nationality because of the, phone I'll tell you the rest, the phone calls. But apparently they have a feeling he came up from behind and just blindside clocked me, just fucking from behind, over my shoulder, hit my chin and just l lights out. Mm. Grabbed my wallet, grabbed my phone, ran. And then an ambulance found me knocked out cold. But yeah, they found me, pumped my stomach, and then um, I had to call my brother to come in and collect me. And I remember my brother walks in, and I see my brother, and I just break down crying. I just had this moment of just like, I was so ashamed of myself. It all hit. And he just gave me a hug. And like, I think the doctor really scared the shit out of me when he made me realize how... Because like, YouTube was beginning to do something mm. like it was beginning to do something for me i was recording with you guys mm. and so there was this you know things are looking good i wasn't making money but i was Ooh. beginning to get subs and then i realized i almost threw it all completely away and ever since then my responsibilities and i guess my awareness when it came to alcohol really went up you think you tried harder on youtube after that yeah yeah and I went out less. I'm making myself out to be an alcoholic. I'm not at all. Like, I don't drink. I barely drink mm. at all. Yeah. Don't do that face. 2013, Brian, however. I went out a lot. And, and drank, drank a lot. I partied a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which could be categorized. As maybe, maybe. <laughs> but now I'm fine. If you did what you did in 2013 now, would you think you'd have a drinking problem? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> The amount of YouTuber friends working on themselves is fucking sick. Let's get swole gamers. Give me a year. Give me another year. <laughs> another year. You need a millennia. <laughs> I'll always be taller than you, Brian, and I go to sleep needing a bigger bed because of how tall I am. So no matter what happens in life, I know I'm not as short as Brian. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Muscles. And then I replied, I'm waiting for your muscles pick. Drop it in your reply. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> no. Funnily enough, this is November 3rd, 2022. This is Jim, a researcher. That's Jim, a researcher. He's been researching a long time. <laughs> he has too many of my pictures saved on his hard drive. What woman's legs are those? Those are my woman's legs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this leg room is a Abysmal, bro. Thanks for booking me these great seats, Dana. I just love the spacious leg room. That's my manager. <laughs> I, Brian saw this and was like, I'm hiring you. Law looks like a perfect fit. I'm punching you when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just woke up from a nap to... Jim with the camera. Thank you, Jim, our researcher. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. There goes all the W's I had from before. Did you know that on average you'll eat five pubes in your life? Hashtag facts. I've eaten. Um, I've definitely eaten more than that. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to click through a better tweet. It's only getting worse. You know what? I'll be your slave for subs. And f your then one day a bitch about you find your back and say I'm better. So how's that, how's that co-op channel going? No Glenn Louis Gaming? We'll <laughs> pick that up in GTA 6. GTA 6, bring it back. Yeah, Louis and Nogla Gaming. Oh, yeah. I like mm, it. Yes. That yeah. works. Why are all these posts unavailable but mine aren't? <laughs> 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 it's very, it's very unfair where the first tweet is deleted. I, I don't have any context to defend myself. <laughs> Can't a guy swig his dick on holidays in peace? <laughs> what the fuck? Jeez, don't let Aaliyah see this one. Why isn't there a male equivalent of Victoria's Secret? I think that's sexist. Where is my silky soft sexy underwear? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I agree. Personally, I'm sick and tired of wearing Lanay's. You know? Yeah. We all do it. So maybe oh. we just make David's secret. David's secret. Yeah, I like that. His secret is he likes to wear women's underwear. Don't tell anyone. I, okay. I'm not going to, I feel like with the tweet, I'm not going to be able to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs>
I may not watch hockey enough, but I appreciate being in a moment like this. LA Kings. Yeah, Louis has a funny thing of tagging and hashtagging a lot, like a lot of like like Ch stuff. Chipotle fast food companies as well. I've always noticed that he's like very taggy. Yeah, he'll get a Jack in the Box and like at Jack in the Box, really fantastic job again, Jack in the Box. Really appreciate it. Here's Louis tweeting In and Out Burger. Uh, here's Louis tweeting In and Out Burger again. Here's Louis tweeting about how he didn't make it to Jack in the Box before midnight. There's so many Jack in the Box tweets. Bro, <laughs> this man loves Jack in the Box. Look at all these Jack in the box tweets getting some late night jack in the box what happened jack in the box good morning i'm on the way to jack in the box good morning jack in the box good night jack in the box good morning jack in the box, <laughs> jack in the box. late night jack in the box <laughs> 2013 this man has been tweeting jack in the box for 10 years just give him a damn fucking sponsorship jack in the box oh well, i'm in this one look at my face bright <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my burger, but die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. All right. You gonna read it? No. You gonna read it? Yes. Okay. And I wanted to be a mini lad mind reader. But here we are. Good thing I didn't read his mind. Oh no. <laughs> what the? Uh, this was someone that worked as a dev or worked with call of duty hey you banned me nice your game is so fucking broken maybe this will give you time to fix it in the next six days and i replied i find it sexy when tina bans me winky face what was i thinking this was someone who was the community manager for a call of duty game right and i tweeted this to them <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Ask him to get banned. I proceeded to check his compelling content and saw a vlog, several intros, and 240p montages of Black Ops. I must say, they. Oh, Brian, you're gonna fucking love this one. Read this to me while I'm eating. You, well, yeah, I've been reading to you while you've been eating for 10 minutes. Do I have a choice anymore? You have to eventually stop, Brian, you fat fuck. I must say that your attempts to copy Kevin are very poor. This type of content has already been done on both YouTube and Machinima. I do suggest you take a look at Kevin's previous work and understand your errors. In addition, please strive to create more compelling and new content rather than rebranding content already done by others. Sincerely, me. And he replied to a No Glen Noise video. Because I was Irish and I annoyed people, that instantly means I copied Kevin. But you know, that's fine. I replied, Dear fanboy, the funny thing is, is I'm trying to be like Kevin XD. It is just fanboys like you that assume you know my intentions. Thanks for the advice, but I think I will be taking a pass. You're sincerely, Jim. I think I meant to say I'm not trying. Freuden slip via text. <laughs> Who would have guessed? The first ever Freuden slip text message right there. Usually it's verbal. <laughs> oh, interesting. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Stop suggesting chatterbait. Who's suggesting it, Nogla? You've one reply, one retweet, and one like. Who's suggesting chatterbait to you in 2012? Two days after Christmas. Two days after <laughs> Christmas. What? Oh shit, I have a conversation with Sniper Wolf. Bro, you interacted with Sniper Wolf way more than I would ever expect. I went to dinner with her. <gasps> I went to dinner with Sniper Wolf, Louie, and Sausage. Oh my god. You told me that recently, yeah. That's probably when I said I went to dinner with her and I realized she was a fucking bitch. So what's this? She was looking for invites to E3 parties, yada, yada, yada. She's talking about how high school all over, all over again. She feels like a reject. I replied, I feel your pain. We can stay at home and watch TV till we fall asleep in depression. Yay. Let's go eat instead. I like the way you think. Some comfort eating will wipe away the tears. Eating beats drinking anyways. True, contrary to my culture, I'm not an alcoholic. Oh, that's right, you're Irish. Took me a minute. It's okay, most people I assume I'm black from my voice. <laughs> people did think I was black in the beginning for some reason. I'm gonna hold you to that meal at E3, Yogurt Lion for the win. Yes, I love Yogurt Lion. Your profile pic says otherwise. My picture is very deceptive. I actually have the softest personal skin in the world. It makes women wish they were me. Haha, <laughs> I know I'd be jelly. We can trade bodies if you want. <laughs> I know how to do that because I'm actually from the future. <laughs> Shockingly, she didn't reply to that one. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is probably what Andrew was talking about. Uh. <laughs> Nogla at this point is like, oh, she's replying more than any woman has ever replied in the past before. How do I seal the deal? That is rough, bro. We, we <laughs> can trade bodies. Yes, we can trade bodies. I promise I won't do anything weird. Nope. I'm a gentleman. Oh, it's a good thing you weren't eating for that one, Brian, because you would have choked. <laughs>
<laughs> that might be worse than all the shit you said. The level of cringe oh, yeah. there is oh, fucking yeah. astronomical. Oh, yeah. With Sniper Wolf of all people. Andrew warned Nogla about a few of these. That might be the one. I was reading through this oh. and probably went... <sighs> oh, I don't know if that's my brother anymore. <laughs> Who would have thought that the people who wish for tolerance and respect for them are intolerant and dis disrespectful of half of America? Logic. <laughs> what a well-aged tweet right there, bro. Yeah, but what was this aimed at? Well, 2016 November. What happened in 2016 November, bro? Presidential election. Trump became president. Oh. And this tweet has aged Beautifully, bro. <laughs> Beautifully. The prophetic shit. This isn't cringe at all. What's an educated hole in the wall? A wise crack. <laughs> what? One to buy it. I fucking guess. Who that? 2012, one like uh, slapped. This one's doing numbers. Well, my section was not nearly as good as yours, Brian. I will say, it. you definitely did better than me. So. To add a bit more, we got some from the boys. Just a few from the boys. Uh-oh. OMG, I have one follower. Oh my gosh, this is a tweet from Evan on October 8th, 2011. Wow. OMG, I have one follower. None other than the one and only Felix Black. Let's go, Felix Black. Wherever you are, you started the fame. I'm going to text Evan Black. You remember Felix Black? <laughs> and he'll be like, what? Why are you bring that name up? <laughs> look how giddy he is. Yeah, like, I'm so Just happy look now. at him. I'm so happy. He's so gay for Evan. It's insane. This is about us discovering YouTube. Lol, hey guys, there's this new website called YouTube. And the rest was history. <laughs> you just got to gas up our boy. You got to gas him up, man. Oh, look at this. Hey, man. Haven't been able to use Twitter. Been really busy. Give me a shout on Skype about your good gleefing vid. Thanks. Yeah, I sent you a file and a message on Skype. I'll call you ASAP. I think you have to be online for me to receive it. Just go on Skype when you get the chance today. This is how you guys connected. Wow. That's wild. The first message was uh, on YouTube. Do you remember YouTube messages? Yeah, when you could be DM people. Yeah, on YouTube. Mm, um, and then you took it over to Twitter. It's every professional relationship, of course. Oh my gosh. Tweet me random cool facts about Black Ops 2, for example. I know the YY animation is back. Anything like that. Four people replied and I was one of them. Do you know if you can ninja defuse in Black Ops 2? Oh, because he got to play. Used to be able to get the game early by ordering the game from a mom and pop shop. So people mm -hmm. would get like the Call of Duties two weeks early, but they couldn't sell them. But some places like really small stores would sell them for a premium, obviously, to people that are YouTubers. So Evan got the game early and I asked him, did he, did he was there ninja diffusing in it? And there was, and it was quite fun. Scotty's first tweet that delirious, are you online, douche nozzle? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's good. These are kind of really like history book shit, man. <laughs> I read that as holy shit, you're back. That's what I read. I watch your montages and I'm like, I want to make one. Then I remember I suck and I can't get clips, lol. It's all in the hips. Lamar, it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. That's like an Adam, Sa an Adam Sandler, like Happy Gilmore reference. It's all in the hips. Yeah, it's all in the hips. It's all. Get off of me! He just teasing the tension, baby. This is Tyler admitting that Thanos is better than him at Call of Duty. Now that is wild. That is crazy right there. Why the fuck is my camera freaking out? <laughs> My camera just suddenly decided to do this on Discord. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I just why? In the middle of me talking, me and Brian show camera to each the other camera's while laughing. we record. So I can make sure Brian is A, not eating, or two, sneaking me open autistic shit. What is going on here? Why is this doing this? Well, what in the fuck? I don't know, find a good spot to end it. I don't know where you're going to end it. Yeah, right there, hit the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Dude.